All right, so today we're taking a look at the out of box a new series for the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Let's go ahead and check it out. Now, I went to the Apple Store, picked this up, 50 bucks. All right, we're talking about a $50 case right here. So you already know what time it is. When the case is over that 50 point, 50 and up, we got a little bit more critical. All right, I need a critical alert to pop up when we talk about these cases. But let's go ahead and check it out. Let's see what it has going on. Now, you can also get this from out of box directly. If you want to order from them, you might can get a little coupon, get a little bit of percent off. I will be sure to drop both links down in the description. Now, I know some of you right now like t that is a bold design with that magsafe on the back you will be correct it is kind of bold but in my opinion i like it for some weird way i like this design with the magsafe on the back i feel like it's no different than having a clear case and you being able to see the magnets through the case so here we are with this this design but they do have a few different colorways they have this neon green neon yellow whatever you want to call this color they also have a blue which is really really nice as well they got a rainbow they got a white color they have about five different colorways that you can choose from to kind of complement your iphone so good job out of box with doing that it's kind of like having a customized case without having the ability to customize it because these buttons are they can pop out but they can't but out of box that would be a dope little thing to do so let's go ahead and take this case over here let's go ahead and pop it on a scale let's see how much she weighs and this case is going to be sitting at 44 grams so 44 grams for the out of box a new series now before we get it on this is going to be like a uh it's kind of a rigid case it's not really too you know too flimsy so it has a little bit of rigidity to it so that's not too bad you're going to have lanyard ports i feel like right here which is an odd spot in my opinion but you may put a lanyard here and you're going to put two lanyard ports down here at the bottom so you can lanyard this thing to, to glory you can just put lanyard, lanyards all through it you know what i mean now out of box let's talk about this magsafe now i you know, when it came to the new out of box symmetry series, you got rid of it. You got rid of the little white box that looked like a MagSafe battery pack, Apple MagSafe battery pack. When you went right back to it. So I'm not sure what direction you're going. I think a lot of us were just like a clean magnet on the back without this. I know the iPhone's gonna be into it, but it's just something I gotta mention. You know what I mean? Because a lot of people do talk about it when it comes to this case. So let's go ahead and pop it in and let's take a look. And this is why I chose this colorway, because I feel like it complements the black iPhone very, very good. So Let's go ahead and step through the case and let's see what we're working with. So on that top side, it's going to be completely closed. Over on that right side, you're going to get that lanyard. You're going to get a power button that works very good, nice and tactile. You're going to have a little bit of out-of-box branding. That's subtle enough. I'm not tripping over that, branding. That's good right there. Flipping it over on the bottom, you're going to get your accurate cutouts on your speakers. You got your lightning and you're going to have, like I said, you get two more lanyard ports on the bottom. On that left side, volume up and down works perfectly beautiful buttons no issues at all and getting to that mute toggle switch is the perfect size you don't have no issues getting to that mute toggle switch at all and flipping it over on the back when you're talking about the cameras it does have a little lip that goes around the camera not too much but it is raised up just enough to when you sit it down on the table you don't got to worry about your cameras hitting the damage and stuff like that now of course it's going to rock because you got that camera lip so they did not sacrifice they did not compensate for the rock all right so the case is going to be able to rock if that's what you care about now let's go ahead and take a look at that lay on the table protection now me rocking the tempered glass screen protector it has a little lip that goes all the way around i think it's a it's a nice little lip it's actually better than most cases but i wouldn't expect less from out box i mean to be real they were the first to really start this protection thing they were one of the, the you know one of the earliest to really start this protection i felt it has a nice lip that goes all the way around it so setting it down and even dropping it i think you'll be able to drop this case very medium now it is it depends on what you figure was heavy duty when it comes to drop protection but i think any other regular drops this case will be able to take it just fine i don't feel like you'll be you know if you're clumsy with it and just always constantly dropping your phone then you may need a little bit more protection and autobots makes it you know autobots makes that protection but if you don't need that i think you'll be just good with this one right here all right so getting to how the case fits on the phone now we already know that's key when it comes to cases to so start with that top version and, you know, we got to pick on Autobox a little bit because sometimes I feel like they've had a little bit of, you know, when it comes to this bottom, but it looks like it's a little bit better than before. You guys let me know in the comment section down below, but on the top side, it's going to be able to pull, but it kind of snaps back in place. It doesn't feel like it's too bad. Coming along the sides, that rubber feels like it's a lot more sturdy. Over the years, this rubber used to be, 
it just didn't feel the best. But out of box, I feel like it's kind of thicken it up, tighten it up a little bit, and it doesn't feel too bad. I think it'll really keep its form over time. And getting down to the bottom, which I feel like was out of boxes, troublesome spot when it came to cases down here at the bottom. But this feels thick as well. And I feel like you're not going to have to worry about that drooping over time. Once again, people in the comments, if you run an out of box case, if you ran the new series, the symmetry series, let me know in the comments. Is any drooping occurring if you use these for long term? But I feel like everything is stiff. Everything feels good. When you pop the case in, this case is a very nice fitting case. Very confident snaps going all the way around it. So the fit and everything with this case feels very good. Very tight. Good job when it comes to the fit. Now, how does it feel in your hand? I wish it had a little bit more something when it comes to the edges, all right? These edges are very smooth and smooth leads to slickness, and I kind of feel like that's what you feel when you're holding the case. Now, it's not terrible. There are a lot more cases that are a lot more slipperier. I need, I need to get that on, on my new merch, slipperier, slipperiest. But yeah, there's a lot of cases that has a little bit more, you know, slippery to it, but it doesn't, not, not this. Even though it's matte, it kind of gives you a little bit of holding texture, but it's not terrible. When you're talking about adding thickness, I don't feel like it adds a ton of thickness to your phone. It bulks it up a little bit, but not bad. For an Autobox case, this is kind of be one of the best you're gonna get for protection and slimness when it comes to Autobox. So overall, I don't think it feels bad. Now, one thing about this back, if I have to give it one knock, is this back is gonna be able to show fingerprints and smudges because it's kind of like a, a semi-gloss type back, all right? Now, it's not really, it's kind of handling them pretty good with me doing this video, but I feel like any grease, any lotion, or anything like that, you're gonna be able to see on this back panel. So even if Autobox just made this a, a different material, I don't know, just make it a little bit more of a textured material to get rid of that ability to show the smudges, then you may really, really have yourself something. So let's go ahead and bring MagSafe over here. Let's test this MagSafe strength. And me doing the preliminary test, I was pretty impressed with it. Now, it doesn't try to pick this base up. I thought it was a little bit stronger than that, but I'll give it like a... I'll give it close to a six and a half ish seven, all right, because it wants to pick it up. I feel like if I go really slow, it can pick it up. But other than that, this has a very confident mag safe. It snaps on. No, it doesn't pick my base up. No, it's not amongst the elite tier when we talk about mag safe strength, but it is very solid. Looking at the night, dropping this on mag safe, you're not going to have any issues fumbling around with mag safe, trying to find it, or anything like that. Bringing the accessories over here. It works just good with accessories, no issue at all right there. Apple MagSafe battery pack, shaking, doing different things like that. It'll be able to stay on. Same thing with the, the wallet itself, very strong connection. I wouldn't have any problems running this wallet with this case because it's not easily going to get knocked off. That feels like a solid connection. So, the should you buy, the, 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 the verdict. 50 bucks for this case. Now, when you're talking about 50 bucks, you know, once again, you're over the Kadabe sheath. You're over the, the Foam Rebel Gen 4. You're playing with the D-brand grips. You know what I mean? And I feel like for that price, this is not a bad option. I feel like it's pretty solid. If you want a unique looking design, the, the fit is good. I don't have any problem with the fit. The buttons are good. The wireless, the, Mag, the MagSafe strength is pretty decent. For 50 bucks, I feel like this is a good option to go out there and get. I feel like it's pretty bad. I can't really knock on this case. I can't really crap on this case because it's pretty solid. There isn't anything much that I'll improve on except this texture on the back so it doesn't really show that many smudges. But other than that, I think Autobox has themselves another solid. And I do think this is probably the best out of the Autobox line when it comes to their cases. I think the new series for me does it every single year, along with the Symmetry series, if they just cleaned up a little few things like that. But the Anu series is easily, I feel like, the best out-of-box case that they have to offer right now for the iPhone series. But if you're, if you're an out-of-box fan, if you want to check out the Symmetry case, which is very similar with a little bit of differences, I'll be sure to pop that video right there.